What's good YouTube? This is White Boy 503 coming at you with another PSP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be teaching you guys how to put a 6.60 Pro B10 on your PSP system. This will work for 1000 series, 2000 series, 3000 series, and the uh, PSP Go. So, but for this one, I'm going to be showing you guys mostly how to put um, it on the 3000s and the Go. So, you download this file right here Pro B10. Then you extract the folder. It should look just like that. So you come here, the CI CIPL flasher, fast recovery, and the pro update. So if you're going to be, if you have 1,000 or 2,000, you're going to be using the pro update and the uh, CILP to make it a permanent, fu uh, permanent custom firmware where it will uh, attach itself to the flash zero which is technical terms for the PSP don't worry, really worry about it but um, it'll attach it to that making it permanent and uh, if you have the 3000 of the go you have, you'll have the fast recovery so basically if you ever turn off your PSP or battery falls out or dies it'll go back to a, it'll go back to um, official firmware and all you gotta do is go into the game text and click on the fast recovery and it'll boot right up real quick easy and you'll have a custom firmware again just like it. all right so connect it via the USB cable go into USB mode and then go to your PSP go to the game folder and make sure you don't have anything that says update or any of these folders like this if you do delete them just delete them and so I'm gonna be doing the uh, from my PSP it's a it's a 3000 series so I'm gonna just do this one right here to show you guys that it works so drag the pro update and the fast recovery into your onto your PSP exit out of USB mode go over to the game go ahead, click on it and go down to the one that says um, pro update and it should look just like that so you press X should boot up and then you should have something that says just like this pro B team by pro press X to launch CFW press triangle to uninstall CFW hold L hold L to reinstall CFW R to X press R to exit so you want to click X and it'll do all that kind of stuff you press X again to start CFW this is now we'll reboot in pro with a smiley face you wait for it to boot back up and then for mine it'll say that just because I have a um custom theme already in and everything like that and now like before how you guys saw my other videos uh, it looks like this meaning it is running custom firmware so you go down to your system go down to system information and you'll see I'm running 6.60 Pro B10 my model is 4G it really doesn't make a difference but so that's basically how you do it. So if we come back here, basically if you were to put the CLP CIPL flasher in, uh, you basically do the same thing. You put the you basically do the same thing as you were to do over here with uh, with the uh, the pro update. You'll still do the same thing. You'll still do, go through all that, but then after that, you'll click the, instead of. Uh, once you're done with it, you can go and uh, click the CIPL flasher, and it'll permanently install it onto the hard drive of your PSP system. That way, if it dies or something like that, you don't have to use the fast recovery. Which, I mean, using the fast recovery is not that big of a deal. All you have to do is, like, for instance, I'll actually show you. I'll um, unplug my PSP. And I will exit out, and I will turn my PSP. Uh, should I just turn it all the way off? 
and I'll show you. I'll flip my I'll flip my PSP over. I'll I'll take the back off like to show you if like you. I'll take my battery out. That way you know it'll it's turned off completely. So you take my battery out. Put my battery back in. Flip it back over. Turn it back on, and it should boot back up. And uh. So yeah, see, it'll have the regular game boot and everything like that. So now all you got to do is go down to your game folder, and uh, once you're once you're done installing the pro update, you can delete it. Just click like that and delete it. You don't need it anymore. And now, see, you can just click the flash recovery. Give it a second, let it go through its thing. And it takes literally like maybe 15 to 30 seconds. It'll reset your uh, PSP and custom firmware. Just like this. See? Bam. Back to custom firmware. And I'll show you guys. Back down to system info. Yep. See? 6.60. Pro B. Alright, so rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell people who you know who has PSPs or whatever to come check out my channel so they can uh, hack their PSP and get all the neat, cool stuff that we all can get for free, like games and emulators and all that kind of crap. And uh, so, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you guys actually if you guys have any videos that you guys want me to make like say you want to learn how to um, uh, use some of like an, a certain SE plugin or something like that which is like basically like a like f for example this right here um, having the the date and everything like that that's an SE plugin having the percentage that's an SE plugin if you guys want to to know how to put this kind of stuff uh, just feel free to personal message me on YouTube and uh, I'll make the video as soon as possible. Um, <clears throat> so, see you guys later. Peace.